right? Because I think a lot of people don't understand Carlos's original story. Carlos was just an investor in the BitConnect project. He wasn't the CEO. He wasn't related to the project in any other way than he just bought some coins, you know? And how many, how many of us crypto natives in the room have bought some shit coin, shielded to our friends, and then been roasted for it in the chats, you know what I mean? And this is like that on a global scale. Everyone thinks Carlos was the face of BitConnect. Meanwhile, in reality, you know, dude's an amazing guy who had just bought a coin, and that's his energy on a day-to-day -day basis. And that's one of the things we wanted to go for with Bit Redemption, but we also wanted to bring, you know, all that exploitation that's been happening in memes back to Carlos. You know, we wanted to build a project that just made sense. I've been in this space since 2014. I know what, what is genuine. I know how on-chain activity works. And I think that in the NFT space, you know, for anyone who's like trying to learn about the space, the real goal with NFTs is you want to be as genuine as possible. You know what I mean? You will raise money if your intentions are good and you're just transparent with everyone in the community. This is the best way to make money. You know, we're not doing anything crazy. We're really just launching a video. We're saying this is Carlos's moment. Carlos is, you know, at, at, and when he puts his words on it and says, this is my moment, you know, this is, you know, that's a, as true as it gets. You know, we're not going for any 10,000 crazy mint project. We're just doing auctions. We're gonna auction each of every single one of these moments that you see back here. So the hey, 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 the wassa, 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 all 28 of them are gonna be their own individual NFTs, which we're gonna do a multi-sig wallet with Carlos and release them one individually. Let them make bids on it, but you know we've been learning from each other. Carlos at the same time as us teaching about the NFT space has been teaching us, we've been doing meditation exercises, Wim Hof breathing every morning. Like I've become a better person just hanging around Carlos and just seeing how this man works. The man is a machine. I'm completely honest. I'm just rambling a little bit. But I wanted, I just, I just, I don't know if I gave a good speech, but basically, you know, I just want to thank everyone that came around here. It was a small event. I want to thank Polly, Niall as well for helping out, Joe for really helping out, you know, just letting me uh, come here and, you know, because we're doing this project, I know everyone wants to get in the crypto space. A lot of friends here supporting us, what we're doing, and believe in me. And, you know, I really, I really got to thank all of you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. So we're going to make sure. We're going to make sure that everyone here that put their email address, we're going to give you guys some kind of NFT offering. Something, in, We're just sending something in your email just to keep you posted. Um, something good. We'll, we'll generate a little community so that you guys can kind of be first on target as far as anything alpha related in this Matos NFT. Um, but I just gave you the full breakdown on that. Um, on that note, we'll let Carlos take over and, and, and do the rest of the speech. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
into history. We are truly proud of it. Because we are believed to be the only church in the whole world that is not Christian. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> Just think about it. Somebody can come to you with a, a gun, with a, you know, a, a, a machine gun and say to you, Give me what you got. I want your Bitcoin. I want your crypto. And you said, you know what? I ain't giving you shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute. How come? But don't you see the gun? Say, yeah. Kill me, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and that right there is power. Because every single time throughout history, when it, you know, when something like that happens, and you have your property right there, you have no choice but to give it to that person. Because you know that even though if if you want to give it to them, they were going to go kill you, and they were going to take the property as well. <laughs> You're scared. <laughs> you were going to lose anyway. But this time is different. This time, each and every one of us has the power of property. Whoa, 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 what? I don't know about you, but I'm the fuck so excited about what's going on. And that's what cryptocurrency is really going to change the face of the world. Now, I also want to say my, my friend Matt and his team have an amazing group of people. You know something that I love to do hard to party. If you guys have seen today, I have been actually connecting with some of you. The first thing that I do is that I call you and I hug you and I give you my heart, touches your heart, and there's this amazing connection between us. You know that I am real with you. And may I do that in Matt? He tells me. Personally, it's not about Matt. It's just about the church. <laughs> <laughs> but immediately, things in the world. We are going to really revolutionize things. People will look at us and say, oh my God, I was really with Paul over there. Oh my God, I was really with Matt. So when I told him, the first thing that we need to do is we need to understand the principle that I always, always do in a team. And that principle is that so many of you have heard so many times. It's a seed that's going to last throughout generations and generations of people. All of you right now have a fucking opportunity that is unprecedented. If you think about it, you think to yourself, what and how can this change my life and the life of my family? Well, just think about it. If you really hold in your hand or in your computer, wherever you got that NFT. And you know that you are actually holding something so valuable that has the time of life going to that be attached to you. And there's going to be one point in time that you say, whoa, now what I have? Oh, shit. I have fucking legacy. I can take this and I can give it to my family. Don't you see some of the things that are going in the market? NFTs selling at $12 million. NFTs selling at $69 million. And you think that something like this that has the history of one of the most powerful and iconic moments in the history of the world in terms of the cryptocurrency that has a living meaning where I embody the message of what cryptocurrency is truly all about. My heart, my spirit, my soul, my everything is sharing with you what really cryptocurrency is really all about. And 
careful. That truly is something so valuable that you cannot really get it fully inside to it. So this is a, a moment for you to start asking for help. What about the little people who can't get to it? Well, they don't need help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they don't have enough money. Okay, no, they just have to take care of you. That's it. Take care of your family. You are part of that world. You don't need to deal with Brooklyn guys that are doing the trip to Trump and the same guys that are doing the 5,000, you know, day, they're going to think, oh, shit, look at this. And they're going to act. And you don't want them to act before you do. So my message to you is very simple, very clear. Make sure that you live by the laws of cost and effect. Because what you do right now is going to have repercussions for the rest of your life, not only for the rest of your life, but most likely for the rest of the family that you have and generations of your family that you have. And I love That off. Yeah, basically, these NFTs are going to be worth a lot of money. You heard it from Carlos himself. Carlos, I want to I wanna, I wanna bring you back up here for a second because I think we talked too much about the NFT. What I want you to explain to these guys is a little bit about your regimen, what you wake up in the morning, what, what brings you the energy in life because I think that's a really interesting lesson. I also want to give you the mic this time. I don't want to cut you off on the speech. All right. But I want this. I want, I want the people to hear, like, in, in, in your mornings, what you do, what time you wake up your fasting schedule, right? I want, I want to hear them to hear healthy lessons about how to live their lives. Okay, now guys, I believe that I have found something so powerful that's going to help me live for many, many years to come. I am going to be 58 years old in December 14th, and there is something that may be happening that we're cooking, it's gonna be in Dominican Republic, Max and I and everybody, I think, is going to be doing this thing. And uh, maybe directly related as perks with the NFTs. Mm, just, mm, just give me five years. <laughs> but that is something that is going to perhaps happen. You know, birthday and tables and, you know, those that higher beaters, the one that did the uh, highest beating in the NFTs are going to be able to, uh, you know, to... Uh, Eat besides the king. <laughs> so those are all ideas. But what I'm going to share with you can definitely change your life. I, I am in the very best shape of my life. When I was 15, when I was 21 years old, I couldn't compete with who I am right now. And that's what I want people to always say. Hey, every single day, Carlos is better than he was yesterday. And I have the way for you guys to do that too. Now, I, w I go to sleep like around 9 or 10. If I go to sleep at 9, I wake up at 2 a.m. And this happens automatically. I'm like a clock. If I go to sleep at 10, I wake up at 3, 3 a.m. Now, some of you may be saying, wow, why does he wake up so early, right? Well, there are certain powerful things that I do during that time that have given me the energy, mental, physical, spiritual, in all ways that I have in order for me to actually have the power and the energy and the drive that I have every single day of my life. The first thing that I do is I do an auto-hypnosis hour. So at 3 a.m., I wake up, boom, I start my auto-hypnosis. The first thing I do is 30 minutes of auto-hypnosis. And what kind of things do I say during that time? I say to myself things like this. All of the cells of my body, I know that around 900 million cells are dying and 900 million cells are being born every single minute. But those brand new cells that are being born are better than the ones that were created before. They're healthier, happier, more full of energy, vitality, flexible, much more flexible, much more malleable, 
we're adaptable, we're full of sensual and sexual energy and power. And I say that to myself every single day. Because I truly believe that the problem with most of us is that we are programming ourselves to die. You're telling yourself, yourself, well, what happens with my father or what happens with this person that I know is that they grew up and then they got a little bigger. Then they uh, got into that time when they want to go and mingle. And then they got, you know, um, a girlfriend. And then they got married. And then after they got married, then, uh, you know, they started getting a little older. And then were older. Then they got sick. Then after they got sick, then when they, they, they got so sick, then they died. And that's practically the history of every single human being. And you program that into your mind. You say, yeah, that's going to be me. Because you're repeating that to yourself. And what, it, what happens with us? Well, there is one principle that all of the wisest men have always come to agreement that it is the real truth. And this is the principle. We become what we, what we habitually think about. We become what we habitually think about. So if you are programming your body, programming yourselves each and every single day, that you are going to die, that this is the way it's going to be, that yeah, I grow, blah, 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 you might, and every, all of your human and bacterial cells are saying, yeah, you heard the man, uh, yeah, you know, we, we are going through this process now, hey, remember, we need some heart disease, no, no, we need diabetes, okay, the hypertension has to, hey, well, we have to go, are we having strokes yet, okay, okay, we get, 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 we have to create one of those, because you are programming yourself to do that. But I truly believe that if you start taking a different approach, if you start saying to yourself, ah, that is not me. And those people that are around you that are talking to you, oh, I don't know you. Hello, bye-bye. Because you don't want people to start influencing you and making you actually to have that type of life, to have that type of consequence to have that type of what cause and effect because those things that are you hearing those mental programs that you're hearing from your friends from the radio from the television they are affecting you and you got to say this is not me i'm going to put a fucking stop to this and i'm going to start living instead of dying and if you start saying those things to yourself each and every single day then I truly and strongly believe that you are going to look when you are 58 even better than me. I truly believe so. So from 3 to 4, I am, from 3, three to 3.30, I am doing my auto-suggestion and I'm only thinking. Then from 3.30 to 4, I am doing auto-suggestion, but I also write it. And I take some time to read what I did before the prior day to make sure that I am actually doing what I said I was going to do. And if I am not doing what I said I'm going to do, I say, what the fuck is going on with you? Why are you waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning? Why are you waking at this time? If you're a fucking motherfucking liar. Make sure that you give, it, you, you give a good kick to your fucking ass. Because you are right now wasting our time. And remember that when I speak, I don't speak about I. I speak about we. Because... Most people are really limiting themselves when they start thinking about I, I am this, I am that. No, don't think about it. Think about we because you are what? You are made out of trillions of cells. 30 trillion human cells, 38 trillion bacterial cells. I have heard that this, that's what we're made of, which together, they all come together to actually create the temple, the sanctuary of who we are, which is incredible. Just think about this. That is happening right now by some miracle of life. All of those cells get together and create who we are. And then you go to a doctor. Oh, I, I believe in the doctor because the doctor, he doesn't know fucking shit about what he's doing. Nobody knows what the fuck is happening. Because we are so complex that our system is beyond understanding. That's who we are. But one thing I tell you that is true, that we truly become what we think about. And if you say that to yourself, you're going to see that you can really change your life. 
So from 3.30 to 4, I am med- you know, doing the auto-suggestion, but I'm doing the auto-suggestion, writing it. Then I finish at 4, my auto-suggestion, writing it. I go then into my Wing Hop breathing. Now, some of you may not know who, uh, who Wing Hop is, but let me tell you, the man is awesome. And you got to make sure that you do your Wing Hop breathing to the fourth level. Because when you do it to the fourth level, what happens is that your body is completely alkaline. And why do you want an alkaline body instead of an acidic body? Well, those of you that have actually done the research understand that if your body is alkaline, bacteria, diseases, and many other things cannot survive on an alkaline system, on an alkaline environment. So a lot of people say, oh, wait a minute. Uh, I don't want to do that. I don't have the time to do that. You know what? Fuck you. Because if you don't have the time to do that, you're telling me, I do have the time to get sick. Because you're building, it's like building a second autoimmune system, but much, much powerful. So now you add that to a real healthy autoimmune system, and what are you? You are now like a ninja. You're like, <laughs> Diseases come to you like, oh shit, what's the thought coming? Bing, right in the eye. Your autoimmune system has the ninja skills to be able to kill all of those motherfuckers. And what happens? They have to get away from your system or they die. And what do you become? Strong, healthy, and happy. So if you guys are not doing yet the wing of, you know, breathing up to the fourth level, what the fuck are you waiting for? Start doing it immediately. The moment that you get out of here, you know, I'm going to do my way up now. Do it. I have to. So after I do my wing hop, then the next thing that I do is one hour of stretching. Now, some of you will say, oh, wait, a stretching. Oh, uh, Carlos, I only do five minutes of stretching. Then you are not really serious about your health. When you do one hour of stretching, and by the way, David Goggin, who I learned this discipline from, who is a motherfucking beast. David Goggin does two hours every single day. Because at one point in time, he was dying because he was so tight all over his body that his cardiovascular system was being so tight that fluids were not really going through his system. And you guys know that if there is no fluid, if there is no blood, if there is nothing that is really going through our system, you're going to die because your body nutrients everything through that system of circulation. So then he had to actually find a solution. Then a friend of him that actually got, you know, the understanding of this told him, listen, what you got to do is this. And from the moment that he understood that, he started religiously doing that. And the, the doctors told him, you're going to die. They didn't even know why he was going to die, but he was going to die. And within about a period of four to six months, he changed everything around. So if you are not doing some serious stretching every single day, I don't think you're really loving yourself. Because I don't know about you, but you know, listen, I am in love with me. Oh, yes, I am. Woohoo! If you do not love yourself, who's going to love you? If you're not take care, taking good care of yourself, who's going to take care of you? You have got to make sure that number one is you because if you are in the very best shape of your life, physically, mentally, spiritually, in all the other ways that you can, then everybody around you is going to benefit from you. They will look at your face only and say, you know what? I'm in love. I have women that come to me and say, <laughs> hi, Carlos. <laughs> hi, how are you? I say, I'm doing fine. Who are you? And of course, they feel the energy. They feel the strength. They feel the power. And of course, they want to be with me. Maybe I don't want to be with them. But hey, that's the way it goes. <laughs> so I tell you, make sure that you're doing your Stretching. Now, every other day, I do also Tabata. Who knows about Tabata exercises? Awesome, my people. 
So there is Tabata for beginners, Tabata uh, for, you know, uh, the mid in the middle, intermediate, and there is Tabata advanced. Now, as you keep progressing, you're going to find yourself in Tabata advanced. Now, if you guys do not know what Tabata exercises are, I, al I all will tell you, say, what the fuck are you waiting for? Find out what it is because those are impact exercises that are going to dramatically, dramatically affect your life. They're going to improve your health almost within 10 or 10 or 50 days. You'll be like, you'll be doing all the things that you couldn't do before. Because Tabata exercises are powerful, amazing for your heart, amazing for your health. So after I do my Tabata exercises, then I do the Wing Hof cold showers and hot showers. And let me tell you, nothing like that for your cardiovascular system. I, I do a little stretching before I go, and then I do a cold shower, hot shower. And then I, I'm, you know, I get dressed, and I'm able to go and live my life and keep impacting as many beautiful people as you guys are. And let me tell you, I love my life. I love my life. And I know that I came here with a purpose, and my purpose is to help you understand the greatness within you, to help you understand that you are limitless. Hello? Okay, cool. Um, all good now? All right. Thank you, Carlos. I just wanted, I wanted him to share that, that, you know, that speech, because it really, it has had an amazing effect on me. Waking up in the morning, saying you're powerful, saying you're fucking limitless, doing the meditation, spending the time to treat health as wealth has really had an amazing effect on me. And I mean, it really, it really is. You are, everyone here is, is powerful people, you know, and, and when you look at stress in the eyes and say, I'm comfortable with the uncomfortable, like Carlos told me, it's, it's, it, it's insane how you, that you can do these things and you can be comfortable with the pain and you can really go for the success you want to do, you know? Car Carlos is, his, I wanted to explain why he's such a ball of energy, why he continuously brings the, the heat, you know? And, and you saw it in the meme, you saw it in this. And I, I wanted to explain that because I think that's a trait that everyone could use a little more of, you know? So, well, I, anyways, thank you guys for coming. Let's go have fun partying at these parties tonight. And uh, bitredemption.com is where you can find all the details about the event. Or, uh, you know, if you left your email, we'll be sending out newsletters and stuff. But thanks, guys.